Oof, woof, woof. Detective Poppy is really good at looking for clues. Yeah, she found a blue handprint. Is that a good clue, Daggy? Woof. Yes, everyone has different handprints. So if Detective Puppy finds out whose it is, she'll find out... Who's been naughty? A woof woof, a woof woof. Could it be Detective Puppy's arch nemesis? Shelly, the turtle? Or Mumbles, the fly? Or was it Fluffy, the cat burglar? Look, Detective Puppy knows who did it. Who, who, who? Well... In the comic, it says, Woof, woof. To be continued. Where? In the next issue, of course. Oh, uh, woof. What? what? There isn't one. A uh, woof, woof. They stopped making Detective Puppy comics. Why? Well, tastes changed. People didn't want detective stories anymore. They wanted comics that were more action-packed, fantastical, futuristic, and shiny. But I really want to know... Who took the necklace? Oh, woof, woof, woof. Excellent idea, Dougie. Maybe you could finish the story yourselves. But how do we make a comic? Ah, Dougie can show you, because he has... his comic badge. Yay! Woof! To make our detective puppy comic... Oh, woof, woof! We first need to work out who took the necklace. Hmm. Here is a blueprint of John and Nigel's house. A oh, woof! And this pepper pot represents Nigel. While Nigel is in the bathroom, we will assemble outside at exactly 12.11. When's 12.11? Oh, oh, when it says it on your watch. It says it on your watch? Oh, wait. You don't know how to tell the time, do you? No. Well, Dougie can show you. He has his telling time badge. A woof! You see, on a watch, the big numbers from 1 to 12 are the hours in the day. And the little numbers are the minutes in each hour. What are the arrow things? They're called hands. The small hand points to what hour it is. 12! And the long hand points to what minute? 10! A woof! You've cracked it! <laughs> Now listen very carefully. At that time, we will all be outside John's house synchronising our watches. Does everyone remember the plan? Yes! At exactly 12.15, when Nigel is in the bathroom, John will let Nori and I into the house, where we'll sneak down the hallway with the decorations. At 12.29, while Nigel is loudly eating his into the living room. Then at 12.45 precisely, Rolly will ring the doorbell. In disguise! Delivery! Meanwhile, I will enter with party food and sneak into the kitchen, followed silently by Dougie. <laughs> Don't miss a beat. Another puzzle! A musical one! We have to stand on the same colours that came on above the door. The first one was green. <laughs> then it was blue. <laughs> then it was red. <laughs> Ew, cream keys! Betty, I think you'll find it's yellow. Pink. Red. Oh, Yay! <laughs> How many more puzzles are there? 
Oh, many more squirrels. <laughs> Well done, squirrels. You have completed all our puzzles. You may take your prize. Yeah! Did we maybe go a little too far north, Dougie? Oh, woof, woof. Ah, so we just need to go east a touch. But which way's east? There are no trees to tell us. Well, squirrels, animals can also help you find a direction. A wolf. Animals like... Whoa! Migrating boing boing fish. Excuse me, fish. Where are you going? We're going to a party. Part of a jazz macchiato. Shower down dubstep. My techno event, actually. Where is it? East, of course. Where all the best pies are, sweetie. <gasps> East is that way. Oh. <laughs> Too far east, Dougie. Uh, woof woof. Of course. We just need to head a little further south now. But which way is south? Donkey! Huh? Lobster! Uh, no. I'm a crocodile. Not you. The clouds drifting on the southern winds. You see? That one looks like a tractor. It looks more like a slug wearing a hat. But if the clouds move south, then we should follow them. Oh! Cookie! Huh? It looks nothing like a cookie. Ah, we went too far again. Oh, uh, what? Yes, just a little further west, maybe. But how can we find our way in the dark? Oh, woof woof! By using the stars. Wow! When you need something... Grow something... Bum de terre! It's made from potatoes! Oof! So potato-y! Oh yes, very rugged. Oh, you'll love mine. It's called you. Don't be what they expect. Don't be what they want. Don't be what they say. Don't be anyone but you. Try it, Dougie. Oh, yes. What's in it, Nori? Honey, green carnations, and chestnut shells. Hmm. Well, what do you think, Dougie? Oh, yes. Empowering, isn't it? Well, I made this one. Water. Water! <laughs> made it from water. Well, it's certainly watery. Mine's called Sachet. For the rhino who likes to have fun. <laughs> Don't just go with the flow. Mm. Oh, hiya! Hiya! Be the flow. Live your best life. Sachet, I be. Hello, Dougie. Me? 
of course you've grown more by three hundred and fifty-six percent. Ah, <laughs> still love numbers, I see. Yes, I'm an accountant now. Oh, he's very good. He does all the finances for me repair shop. Oh, woof woof. <laughs> I broke so many things I thought I should learn how to fix them. Fixed anything interesting or mysterious? Oh, and Pip is a reporter. Aha, still asking questions. And are you still taking risks, Snarla? No, I minimise them. I'm in risk management. Oh, financial or operational? Statistical covariance. Statistics, love them. They don't sound like squirrels. They sound <gasps> like our parents. Does that mean when we're bigger, we'll be like our parents too? Will I always do things in a minute? Mom! In a minute! Mom! In a minute! Mom! In a minute time! But where are my shoes? And I'll need to... Concentrate! <laughs> really, I need to concentrate! Oh, am I going to really like tea? <sighs> Perfect cup. Will I look forward to sitting down? I've been looking forward to this all day. And will I dance like my dad? Oh, yes. It's got a very good beat. Beat, beat, beat. Hello. We're squirrels, too. Just like you. In a minute. In a minute? We're going to have some fun. We're going to play games and dance. Dance? Don't look so worried, squirrels. You see, you don't need to be all bam, bam, crash to be a hero. But what if you need to destroy things? Or rescue your friends. Or save the city. There are other ways to solve problems, squirrels. For example, you could save the city by... Dancing! Oh, woof! But Jed's not really dressed for dancing. I'm sure we could find him something else to wear. Yay! <laughs> Ooh! Jet would love this! And this. And these match his eyes. He looks much more fun. Yeah, he's ready to dance. Hey! I'd like to see you bust. These moves! Oh. I will save the city! Hmm, he still sounds a bit cross. Oh! Yes, we could give Jet a new voice. Something softer. Like he cares about how people are feeling. Jet, you gotta hide. Jet doesn't hide from his emotions. So, tell me how you feel. I'm just so angry all the time. <laughs> there, there. Let it all out. Jet. So compassionate. What else can he be? Really good at maths. Maths? Yes. It's very useful when you're zooming through space. Get your headed straight for the asteroids. Don't worry. I can calculate the clear part through because I'm good at math. Radians per second. Interrupted trajectories. Diminished fuel equals... <laughs> There are. 
that does more, much more. You can... Stomp like me. Stomp, stomp, get the like me. Time for one more thing. Doggy Hawk! Oh. Doggy Hawk. <laughs>